Well, tonight, the new acting president of the United Auto Workers Union is defending how two top union officials are allowed to be on paid leave. At the same time, they are at the center of the growing federal corruption case. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirchner is live with more on his conversation with Rory Gamble. Jim. Yeah, Carolyn, nothing was off limits. There were no ground rules. And I asked him, how's the union done so far with the growing number of corruption cases? And since I got in this seat Monday, I've been apprising myself of everything that has been going on. This has been a whirlwind um, three days for me and very eye opening. The acting president tells me the union has conducted internal investigations into the corruption cases, but two top officials remain in the union. Vance Pearson is a regional director who was put on paid leave during the General Motors strike and contract talks. He has been charged by the feds. And, and that did not happen under my watch. UAW President Gary Jones had his house in Canton raided by the feds in August. He has not been charged, but is implicated by the feds in previous cases involving others on the take for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Right now, his status is he's on paid leave. Okay, where else mm. does that happen in a workplace? It happens a lot. I represent members throughout my 38 year career who have been charged with all kinds of crimes and we fight to maintain their employment until at the point they get judged and if they got to go through time or whatever, okay. The president says he's working to restore integrity with some 150,000 union members, almost a third of those who went on strike against General Motors for 40 days. Tomorrow I've got a meeting with our executive board. Um, at that meeting I am going to be rolling out to them some swift actions that we need to take and I want to get implemented right away uh, to start us on the path to where we need to be. So we'll see what happens starting tomorrow. He has members who are watching and he needs them to know that things here are changing. Live in Southfield, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Jim.